guest is a leading consumer electronics company. You're certainly going to be familiar with their name, with products ranging from TVs to refrigerators to washing machines. Oh, and to cameras, of course, not to be forgotten. The product manager for digital imaging for all of Europe, not just one country all of Europe, and a very busy opportunity there, is in fact Maureen Ott. Did I say the name right? Yes, you Ah, did. very good. Welcome thank into you. tomorrow. How are you? I'm very fine. Thank you. Good. So as, much. as well you should be, because every time we've gone by the digital cameras area at, uh, at the Panasonic uh, exhibit, it's very crowded. Everybody wants to see all the cool Lumix cameras, and you've brought a couple of them to show us. That's totally right. Yeah, I brought two of our new uh, range of Lumix G cameras. Uh -huh. um, the G7, who actually just won the ISA Award as the best photo and video camera. Very nice. It's a nice nice looking camera too. It is. And Tell me about some of its uh, popular features. So it combines 4K video with photo. We have a very new uh, technology just introduced this year with 4K photo. And actually what you do is you have a 4K video and you can uh, extract one frame out of the 4K video and save that as an image, 8 megapixel. Nice. It's so quite nice. And you'd never miss a moment anymore. So if you have some very fast action, what is actually going on at our booth, yeah. you always have the right picture of that action. Wow, that's and of course there's so much popularity with 4K these days. We're hearing it, it all the time, 4K yeah. ultra high def TVs and so forth. That it's really nice to know that we've got the ability with a Lumix camera to take some great 4K pictures. Exactly, too. and what we do is basically changing photography because everyone is always talking about 4K video yeah. and the high, the high resolution and everything. But now with this, we really can change the way people take pictures, still pictures. Yeah. Sure. So um, with that new technology of 4K photo, we really revolutionize the market. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm taking pictures of you talking about taking pictures, and I'm, <laughs> having, I'm having so <laughs> much fun amazing. with it. In fact, I think it looks like I'm shooting video of you on the show. So now I'm actually pointing it to one of our monitors to see you seeing me seeing you. That's <laughs> so impressive, I, that's, huh? And that's too confusing. My head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is very impressive. Now, what's the other Lumix model that you have for us? Oh, let me, let me stop this and, and turn it off because I don't want to waste your battery. Mm -hmm. Or don't your, your memory. What kind long. of memory are we talking about? Uh, SD card? Exactly. Yeah. Normal SD cards. Mm, okay. You should good. have quite fast ones uh, in yeah. order to record the 4K video. And I'm glad you mentioned that because f the faster cards, people think, oh, but this is so much less expensive. But you're not going to get the quality and, and exactly. the speed of accessing those cards, let alone saving pictures. Spend a little more and get the faster but it's worth cards. It. it is worth it, absolutely. Exactly. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the GX8, our um, highest um, still camera, ah. which is a nice OLED viewfinder, which you can tilt uh, like this. It's very nice. If you, for example, shoot at the bottom, you don't have to go down. You can just look through the um, live viewfinder yeah, here. That's very nice. Oh, plus, uh, plus there's more, but wait, there's more to talk about. But I'm yes. liking the, the fact that you've got the LCD viewfinder with that tilt. One would think, oh, that's a simple thing, but why hasn't everybody done it? <laughs> exactly, yeah, but so many photographers tell us, oh, that's amazing. I use that so many times. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a really nice cam camera design. It's, uh, it's going a little bit into the, um, the old analog cameras, mm -hmm. and it's... Um, uh, splash and dust proof so you can totally work with it even outside if you're like a street photographer going out and it's raining it doesn't matter at all um, so you're safe with the camera it um, has 4k video and 4k photo as well it has a very new 20 megapixel sensor so even the low light performance um, you are very sure to take really good pictures and it and has a great shutter uh, speed because i just took like four pictures by exactly. a light little <laughs> press and it's really kind of cold now this was just released right exactly yeah just a couple of weeks ago oh very good and actually what we show in here is a very new function as well uh, it's called post focus so, if you like, I can show Please. you a little bit about it. Post focus. Post focus. That already <laughs> sounds like it's solving a whole lot of problems for people. Exactly. So, um, what we do, um, it will be introduced later this year. Okay. But um, you have recorded a video, and then afterwards you can select where the focus is on. So, if you just Whoa. touch the LCD, actually, you change the foc the the. The yeah, area in, fact, in the, get in rid the of photograph a little bit of the glare. in focus. Uh, oops, how do we get back there? I've, I must have hit something. Sorry. Uh, lo love demos when I mess them up. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. So, right. now, so now you've got some great desserts. 
And as you touch the different ones, the others kind of roll out of focus. And now I've, bring, I've brought the strawberries into focus. Or the other piece of cake now is in focus. And, we, and we're actually seeing that very nicely on the video. Exactly. Good job, Chris, with focus. <laughs> because <laughs> it now shows uh, what the Lumix can do yeah. with this great focus. Well, that's awesome. And then you can save the picture exactly, at that point yeah. and or save copies or whatever. Exactly. You can save one picture with yeah. focus on that point and then another one with another focus point. Yeah. And, and all you're doing it's is amazing. touching the screen. Exactly. And it's that simple. You're not having to go into, uh, you know, expensive photography editing uh, products or something uh, to try to make it happen. Yeah. This is awesome. From yeah. the minds of Panasonic <laughs> doing <laughs> some fun <laughs> things. And, uh, now and actually, one last thing yes. I really have to mention, actually, oh, because this camera has a new innovation about image stabilization. So imagine you're going out for street photography or something, right. and you have the camera only in your hand. You don't, wear a, you don't bring your tripod. Right. And this is the first camera combining the lens image stabilization with the body image stabilization. So it works at the same time, which is a very brand new innovation we show nice. in this, this new model. Yeah, so of course you've got that technology to be able to help not only stabilize the lens, because like even our smartphones have some sort of, <laughs> of stabilization, but the body of the camera is also being stabilized. Exactly, and it works at the same time, which never worked before. No. Yeah. Well, I would ask, how do you do that? But you'd say it's a licensing thing and be quiet. <laughs> you'd be telling me secrets. <laughs> That's awesome. And you said this is available now. It is. Because it was just released. So what does this cost in U.S. dollars? Oh, that's a good question. I can tell you or the Euro in, in price. Euro, yeah, yeah. Because it's pretty close these days. Yeah, um, unfortunately, yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> to the chagrin of Europeans, <laughs> that's pretty that's close. That's true. So the body-only price is yeah. 1199 euro. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and to which then you would add whatever So it depends on lens. exactly which lens you okay. want. So like so a kit, normal kit lens is yeah. then about 1299 so Okay. So around twelve, thirteen hundred dollars even U.S. Exactly. Is, is gives you a good idea. And and the other unit, the G unit? The body-only is 699 Okay. Very so it good. also depends on the land so between 799 and 999 terrific ah, Maureen you're so much fun to talk <laughs> to and, yet, and I love the fact that you are not only passionate about your products but about photography because giving good advice and input and have fun with it you know exactly. go out and shoot pictures yeah. and shoot video and that's what they're for it's Do all it. about fun and it basically is. collecting these visual memories mm. because it's a moment of your life and you should you know just collect these images for the future I, I love it in fact uh, we <laughs> have visual memory for you that Dennis is going to give me, and I'm going to I'm going to show it <laughs> to you uh, in a moment. Because here we go. Look at this. This is what what guests uh, su will surprise you as well. Look, proof you were oh. with us on the <laughs> radio broadcast. So. Uh, see, look at that, a visual memory, unfortunately not taken with the Panasonic Lumix, but uh, I think Maureen's going to work on that. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, c'est bon. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> and that's also thank for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. We'll let you get back to your very busy booth. Indeed. Thank All you right. so much. But it's it was a pleasure talking to and you. And I hope we do it again. Let's catch you up. You should. All yeah, right. see you next year. Uh, oh, at least. <laughs> <laughs> very fine. Now see, that's what IFA is all about. Cool products, great networking, opportunities to learn and share, and look at all the cool new stuff that's coming out that they're introducing, companies like Panasonic. So Panasonic.com will get you there. You'll see what her team is doing on all the cool uh, video and still picture pro products. Do check them out. We'll link you, too, at Intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues from Berlin, Germany, and IFA on the Advanced Media Network.